using nuclear energy to find a nuclear weapon in one of these. I'm Richard Hart with the next step in fighting terror. Most of these containers are never even inspected. Oakland is the first and only port that inspects every single container as it passes through these yellow portals. But not all nuclear radiation is the same. Some kinds require detectors that would be too big to install even here. The next step is a kind of neutron bomb to blast every truck with a beam right out of Star Trek. We call it the nuclear car wash. This is the first one at Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory. And this is a neutron beam comes up through the floor, through this hole, and illuminates the bottom side of the cargo container. And we have the cargo container coming through it, It's here, coming right? this way. Homeland Security's ancient radiation guns take as long as an hour to identify a suspected source. This one will read out in 60 seconds. To finger a bioterror substance, current PCR machines require a whole day and are bigger than a microwave. The next step is this, a genetic material analyzer, the smallest, most powerful one that you can actually take into the field. It's called HANA. And by putting a tiny sample in each one of these little tubes, you can detect things such as malaria, hantavirus, really bad stuff like the plague. And someday, a CSI might be carrying one of these around to find DNA. These puffer phone boats have recently been suspended for failing too many times to detect explosives. The next step, beginning this month, is a swipe that identifies an explosive in seven seconds. 